In response to Ukraine's new F-16S, Russia is bolstering its air defences. The Russian Air Force has received a batch of repaired and modernised MiG-31 fighters this year. These aircraft, designed to intercept and destroy air targets under various conditions, are now equipped with the hypersonic Kinzhal missiles, posing a substantial threat to enemy air defences. The MiG-31K modification's capabilities include intercepting targets in any weather, at any altitude, and overcoming active and passive radar interference, as well as false thermal targets. This modernization highlights Russia's readiness to counter Ukraine's new aerial capabilities. NATO's F-16 fighter jets arriving in Ukraine mark a major development in the conflict. Secretary of State Antony Blinken confirmed on July 10th at the NATO Public Forum in Washington, D.C. I'm also pleased to announce that as we speak, the transfer of F-16 jets is underway, coming from Denmark, coming from the Netherlands. And those jets, those jets will be flying in the skies of Ukraine this summer to make sure that Ukraine can continue to effectively defend itself against the Russian aggression. West's F-16S will boost Ukraine's defenses, but deployment challenges and Russia's strong response will come as the biggest resistance to Ukraine's air defense. The deployment of these jets is expected to start this summer. By the end of the season, Ukraine anticipates receiving six F-16 aircraft from its Western allies, with a total of 20 expected by the year's end. Some experts are skeptical about the impact of these jets. Former Pentagon advisor Professor Theodore Postel remarked, the F-16 is not going to make any difference at all. The Russian air defenses have become dominant in the area and they shoot down planes like crazy. The delivery process is complicated by several factors. According to Bloomberg, Issues with parts and the language barrier between Ukrainian pilots and their foreign instructors are significant hurdles. These complications have led to concerns among Western partners about the feasibility and cost-effectiveness of sending the aircraft to Ukraine. Key concerns include the need for reconfiguration of the F-16 SS for specific missions, such as reconnaissance or combat. Additionally, Ukraine faces infrastructure limitations, lacking sufficient long, high-quality runways and shelters to protect the F-16S from Russian attacks. Supporting the aircraft also involves complex logistics, ranging from sourcing spare parts to maintenance and finding qualified engineers. 